Alright, welcome to part two of Octopath Traveler. We're playing as Hikari. I've dueled everyone in the city um, to kind of like gain some levels and, um, you know, select the best extra skills that I could. I make must, must make for the western keep. Um, so we'll go that way. Is this something I can pick up now? These guys can't do anything with. But you can board a canoe from a pier to across the water. If you see a pier, take a canoe across the water. Oh, you just all right, cool. Oh, okay, so it won't let us actually go that way. We may be stuck going one direction, so oh yeah. All right, so for now, we'll just continue up. Oh, the Emperor's here. Your Majesty! Why have you left the castle? I would have come if called. This is the only place where we would not be heard. Hikari, I have devoted my life to expanding our borders. Many a dawn has been stained crimson by my ambition. Now, at the end of that path, I realize that it has all led to nothing. Hikari, I would ask you, what do you want for our nation? Friends. Allies. Friends that will grow together with us. Allies that hold the same ideals as us. With that, we could realize a world without conflict. Without bloodshed. I charged you with overseeing the city, so that I could take your measure, Hikari. And I do not find you lacking in the least. You've brought joy to the people, community. Hikari, I want you to be the next king of Ku. Oh, wow. Mugen will not like that. Are you? I'm not worthy. My brother, he. He is consumed by the same ambition that led me astray. He would see the world kneel before him. <sighs> there is a plot stirring among his troops. We must act with haste. I shall make the proper arrangements and do what I can to keep Mugen's machinations at bay. Please consider what is at stake, Hikari. Father. I too hope that you will take up the mantle of king, Lord Hikari. Wow. <sighs> King? Me? Father spoke of a plot among Mugen's troops. What is he planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Maybe they're planning Someone on assassinating the king. Someone in must know something. Secrets have a way of revealing themselves. Find someone who knows Mugen's plot. Okay. Let's say we start up here. Okay. Hmm. Sh 
should we buy this? Nameless sword. Long spear. I don't feel like we should right now. Yeah. If anything, I should probably buy some health coefficients. Because I did... Let's buy ten. Restores SP to a single ally. We have three. Let's buy two. Alright. Then... Oh! We have skills we can learn here! A skill occlusive to a cry that can be learned by meeting certain requirements. Unlocked after learning four job skills, five job skills, six job skills, seven job skills. Okay. Raise your physical attack. Nullify all positive status effects on a single foe. Then unleash a sword attack. That's pretty cool. Raise your physical defense. Draw foes single target attacks to yourself. Grant yourself the ability to counter physical damage with a sword attack. Two times. The counter attack reduces the enemy shield points regardless of their weak points. Oh yeah, I like that. Learn a variety of skills to gain the upper hand in battle. Use the job points you earn in battle. To learn new skills, go to the skills menu. Yeah, yeah. You can learn skills in any order you choose. You will need increasingly more JP to learn skills, so choose carefully. Ah. Okay, so... Cost to learn the next job skill is 100. We have 27 points. Okay. Alright. We don't know what that is yet. Don't know what that is. Healing. Inventory. Let's uh, take a healing grave here, because... He needs some health. Okay, let's head this way. That kid, don't need to talk to. Pulling the streets to the Lord Hikari. Can we go up this way? Oh, we can. There's a chest over here. Got an inspiring plum. this way at all? Or is there a wall there? There's a wall there, so we can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Okay. We'll just continue on this way. Let's see. He might be the one. Merchant flourishing in the shadow of the castle. If anyone can tell me what goes on inside its walls, surely it would be him. Although I can't expect his information to come for free. When I selected him, his other skill, besides like challenging people, getting duels, and learning skills that way, was bribery. So. At night, Hikari can bribe townspeople for information. Try pressing square near a townsperson. You must have the indicated funds to bribe someone. Let's just talk to him first. Why, well, if it isn't the young prince, what brings you here? Let's grab this. That must be how much it costs to bribe him. <laughs> <laughs> bribe a townsperson. Yes, let's bribe I him. have a request. Bribe a townsperson for useful information. Cannot be used if you lack sufficient funds. A merchant permitted to enter and exit Castle Coup as such. At will. Such access affords him the opportunity to make personal connections with King Jingo, General Mugen, and various officials and ministers of the monarchy. He is quite good at his job and refuses to align himself with one faction, preferring instead to chase high profits. I should like to know what's going on at the castle. Have you heard anything during one of your deliveries, perhaps? Ah, the young prince. I believe I can be of service. However, I'll have you know that it comes at no small risk to my person. You'll be fairly compensated. Is this enough? Ah. Our Lord knows well the ways of the world. 
I've heard rumors that unusually large shipments of weapons have been delivered to the castle as of late. Hmm. Soldiers get chatty during long watches, you see. They say General Mugen meets with this arms merchant upon the crest of heroes. Mugen may be stoking the embers of war. Interesting. You gleaned new information. Castle Merchant's information. So father was right. I have to ask him myself. Look Mugen in the eye. If that merchant's words hold any salt, then I'll find him at the Crest of Heroes. Let's go get this bastard. Well, now we have... We have more money. Maybe we do go buy those things, you know? I mean, it's 50 gold. Let's see well, this. Information gleaned at then. Interest. Now nah, we won't bribe him. I'm sure when it's 50. 50 dollars that there is no reason to be bribing them. But you never know. Maybe, maybe it is. What's this leaf? Oh, it's a save. The save point. Yeah, we might as well. Let's give it a little, little save moment there. Okay, I think we do go buy weapons or armor or something. Because if we have to fight Mugen, that just makes me kind of nervous, you know? You never know when danger might strike. Be sure to save often. Good thing we just did. Danger may strike at any time. Okay, let's... This just gives us a 10 more attack, which is pretty good. More speed. Copper breastplate. Nameless sword. It's very expensive. Hmm. Eh, I don't know. Nah, we don't need to buy anything. We're good. We're we are we're really good actually. Let's see. If we had more money, maybe it'd be different, you know. Probably won't gain anything of a value. Nothing there. Cute little house, though. Oh, we got a chest. Healing grape. Nah. Okay. Go up here real fast, see if there's what this dude's got. I have a request. Interest. Hidden item. New treasure. World map. treasure. How do I know? Oh, is it the exclamation point down there? Critical ring. More crit. Okay. Okay. 
Should we take our boat? Let's see if the boat gets us anywhere. It does get us somewhere. Cool. Got out of here. I shall be your opponent. Oh. My turn. Desert yeah. 8. Here I come. <laughs> My Damn. turn. I'll end it. For the pride of Koo. Did we get gold from that? Maybe we got a little bit. It'd be cool if we got a lot of gold. Then we can go buy all those things. But, who knows? Fire Soul Stone? What is that? Inventory? Show details. Deals fire damage to all foes. Okay. You surprised the foe. Now it begins. <laughs> now. Right here I come. <laughs> that. Prepare yourself. I fight for my. I'll wipe him out now. It's over. There There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Forty-eight gold. That took us a long time to get the gold we need when we're getting it penny by penny here. Let's see. 37, so we still have a little bit of time before we can get anything. Okay. What is that here? Stand aside or fight. Stand aside or fight. Now it begins. Yeah. My turn. <laughs> Prepare your I'll end. Never take him out. Very cool. I still have much to learn. Kill that dude quick, man. What do you mean? Alright. Let's go up here. There's a chest here. Herb of Light. Me to do there, I should turn back. Okay. I shall be your opponent. Oh, I got two. Now hmm. it begins. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. There we go. Yeah. I return your wrath twofold. Nice. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Um. My blade sinks. Awesome. For the prize. That was cool. <laughs> Nothing like a little level grind. Um, do a little save, why not? Okay. Oh, here we are. Did you need something? 120. They seem cheap up here. Right? Okay. 
Hmm. Wait on the sphere. Don't need that. Uh, I bought two of them. Damn. Did not mean to do that. Oh well. There's no one here. I suppose I'll wait a while. If the rumors of Mugen's ambitions are true. Elsewhere, Castle Ku, throne room. Does he get assassinated here? I bet he gets assassinated. You called upon me, your majesty. For centuries has the sword of our clan struck down our foes. Their blood has stained the desert red, and our nation has become great in turn. Glory through sacrifice, such are the words that guide Clan Ku. Morgan, I ask you, what do you want for our nation? Str for only the strong can herd the droves of the weak. Such is the way of the world. Strength reigns supreme, always. <sighs> Mugen, my son, I called you here to discuss succession of the throne. I know. You've come to a decision. You mean to abdicate to my brother, to give Hikari your crown. What? You are old, your majesty. Frail, as is the nation you lead. But worry not. By my hand shall its glory be restored, its strength. I know it. That dude is bad news. He's probably gonna murder that old man. It's been too long, Hikari. In case you were wondering, you can call me Captain now. Oh. To think, I once looked up to you. Now fate seems to have brought you low. What? Mitsu, what are you doing here? Come you were expecting us. someone else? Lord Mugen, perhaps? And this arms merchant? It up. was a trap. One you were all too eager to walk into. The king is dead. And the era of Lord Mugen begins. No, I knew Ritu was a bad guy. I could just feel it. The city. What have you? Ah, it started already. Let me pass, Ritsu. While you were fritting your time away with commoners, greater men were taking action. Our nation cries out for change, and Lord Mugen will bring it. I'm sad to say, you have no place in his coup. You'll die here, Ikari. Nah, ain't gonna happen, it's bro. It's into you, Ritsu. I have to follow the strongest. I told you history would remember my name. Lord Mugen has promised me it will echo through generations. When I present him with your head, I'll be granted a place by his side. Nope. We'll take yours. So you see, it's nothing personal, Hikari. I must protect my people. So I say once more, and once more only. <laughs> Let me pass. 
That's the spirit. Time to claim your spot on this hill. Let's see. Ugh. You're so getting beat. Here I come. Alright, so we are going to use... Vengeful Blade. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. I return your wrath twofold. My turn. Um, I'm good. Let's see. Six. This is nine. My is fine. Six. Prepare yourself. Need a heal. I need this. Okay. Here I come. Um. Out of my way, V2. Here we go. My blade sings. Time to strike. Good. My turn. Now it begins. My turn. Him out. Look well, he comes. Murderous Laura. Here I come. Let's heal I first. This. Now I go to my place. My turn. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Now it begins. Okay. It's over. Prepare yourself. Allow me. Mm. You're dead. Here I come. I need this. Yeah, I'll do that. Now it begins. I fight for my friends. Out of my way, V2. Yeah, let's do it. My blade is safe. Now! My turn. Prepare yourself. How's this? Heave sand. The city burns. I must help. Don't let their screams distract you, Hikari. You never did take this seriously. But I'll show you how far I've come. If you want to save them, you'll have to cut through me first. Yeah. Leave me no choice. Once the latent power gauge is full, characters can use unique commands in battle. Fill the gauge and unleash their latent power. Um. Um. 
Um, do I have anything that heals? I don't. Choose your next move wisely. I return your wrath twofold. Look well, he comes. I need a heal. Once the gauge is full, you can unleash Hikari's latent power. Press triangle on his turn and activate your latent power. My turn. What is this? Unleash the power of Shadow within to unlock special abilities. Unleash a full arm and sword attack on all fours one time each. Unleash a sword attack on a single foe two times and act again at the end of the turn. Only one additional action can be taken per turn. Unleash a highly powerful sword attack on a single foe. Um, let's do this one. Yeah. Then I can heal if I need to. Prepare yourself. Not this time. Defend. Here I come. Not this time. Now I call my place. I return your wrath twofold. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. Ah, nice level up. Awesome. Why does it always end the same? I'm not better than us, Ritsu. You're Sorry, always bro. one step ahead. <sighs> what are you staring at? Finish this. Do it. It's done. Hikari. can't deny the blood flowing through your veins. Hmm. Cut into him. Soak the ground red. Demon. I don't know. Silence. Go away. Go away. What? Who the hell are you talking to? Yeah, we're real fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> you better run! The accursed clan. I have to go to the castle. My lord, you're safe. Suki. The soldiers set fire to the castle. I'm afraid the city is. Lord Hikari, save our kingdom. Only your gentle hands can guide us back. Can I talk 
to him. Everyone's dead. There's a chest back there, how do we get there? Let's go save. Definitely need a save. It doesn't look like I can. You are old, your majesty. Frail, as is the nation you lead. But worry not. By my hand shall its glory be restored. Its strength. Hmm. I must ask. Why, Hikari? What could such a soft heart achieve? Hikari has all the makings of a great king. And what would those be? A brute such as you would never understand. And you do. The king who threw down his sword and cowered in the trappings of peace. Everything you built was only an illusion. I shall build a castle that will stand eternal, and your corpse shall be its cornerstone. <laughs> oh, wow. You gonna send a soldier to do it? Not even himself? Wow. Make for the phone. Throne room. Thunder soul stone. Okay. Can't grab anything over here. Fortifying nut. How do I get this? There we go. Oboro's journal. My name is Oboro. I was born in U and nation bled dry by interminable war with two empty stomachs, spreading pestilence, and night spit curled up against the chill or facts of life. Although the adults around me blamed my birth for a miserable lot, even in my tender years I knew the truth. Ku was to blame. That wretched nation who preyed upon the weak, bringing strife and death in its wake. While well, the better part of my life was spent in suffering, my sister brought some small measure of joy to my existence. I'm not bound by blood. I plucked her from the city streets and raised her by my own family. Now some might think shouldering such a burden is folly, especially when scarcely how knew from where my next meal would come. However, I could tell that this child was child had a fire within her. Yes, she was when she spied the dagger I held in my hand, she, her cry ceased, and I knew it was at that very moment when I decided we would make it through this life together. How naive I was then. After four years of relative peace whose forces fell upon the town we called home. If the tyrants were victorious, we would be killed or captured, forced to spend our lives in servitude. I resolved to kill King Jungo of Ku himself, that we might be spared such a fate. After donning the armor of a dead Ku soldier, I asked my sister to slash my body and made my way to Jingo under the guise of being a wounded ally. While I slipped through Ku's ranks, my attempt on Jingo's life failed and I was captured. As the soldiers pinned me down, my mind grasped for clever escape. It was then when Jingo asked, will you serve Ku by my side? An unexpected offer, to say the least, but one I did not hesitate to take. I turned my back on our home and joined hands with my sworn enemy, all so that my sister and I could live. However, we still found no comfort. Ku's bloody conquest poured over our border after another, and the fires of war spread unabated. As the desert was stained with deep crimson, my heart became black as pitch. I recall on one particular red day noticing a corpse turned toward me, its gaze piercing through life with eyes. I tried to look away, only to be met with a field of dead bodies upon the sand, each one leering at me intently. Perhaps it was merely the work of a troubled imagination, but that is hardly the point. The act of living became something I could not comprehend. We steal, only to be stolen from, and then we die. The cycle repeats itself time and time again until the end we find. What? 
I pondered the answer to this question and eventually reached my answer. Life has no meaning, and living is a fool's errand. I was mistaken to look toward the dawn, for tomorrow is but a farce. A world so twisted, ill deserves to see a new day. So I will ensure that it never comes. Such was the thought in the forefront of my mind as I wore the mask of dutiful subject. Day after day, I played my role until a man came to me bearing a grimoire and claiming it would pique my interest. The text within was said to stir the hearts of all who read it. But I was unmoved. As I turned the final page, I had come to the realize that the truth that lay bare on my own. How many years has it been since then? And at last, my plan is in motion. The great battle looms on the horizon. The world will meet its end, and the light of dawn will be replaced with a choking darkness. For life has no meaning, and tomorrow is but a farce. Wouldn't you agree? No longer will we be forced to kill or be killed. No longer will we be forced to greet a dawn that only brings more suffering. The end is nigh. That's very sad. Distressing. Everyone's dead. Wow. The king killed all the soldiers. Damn. Father! Hikari, will you lead our nation? I will. I will be king. And I'll set Ku free of this bloodshed. Mukan is too strong. You cannot hope to face him alone. Run. Gather your strength. Your allies. Only then. Can you restore the light to our nation? His final words prove his weakness. That he would hoist his unfulfilled ambitions on the shoulders of another. Only I am fit to be king. And I shall see the fires of war engulf the world. That was the same world that father lived in his whole life. A world he regretted making. But he came to believe in my vision. A vision for a world not forged by war, but shaped by fellowship. Enjoy your grip on Ku while you can, Mugen. I'll take the throne back and build the country father would have been proud of. Not a coward like you. <laughs> Why, Mugen? Why did you set fire to the homes of innocents? Somehow you've won their love. They might have opposed my rule. Timely demise. Best to burn the roots of the problem before they grow. Monster! Now don't be a fool. You know your meager skills are no match for me. I'm told you not to tarnish our family name. Don't die so shamefully, brother. Friend. It seems a rat got through the cracks in my wall. Your Majesty, leave these curs to me. You hold the future of Ku in your hands. Your father chose to put his faith in you, and so shall I. Don't worry, it'll take more than this gang of ruffians to take Benkei down. Go! 
Find your erstwhile allies and return to set us free. I think you're gonna be dead, bro. Can't take an army by yourself. Off we go. Father. Everyone is gone. But their sacrifices won't be in vain. Hikari rode through the night. The castle grew faint on the horizon, but Hikari did not look back. With his eyes set firmly on the future, he rode. Three days later, in a nearby town. Did you hear about what happened in Ku? Is it as bad as they say? Seems the young prince wasn't satisfied with his lot and tried to take the throne by force. Hmm. We knew that the was going to come. The king is dead, and the elder brother has assumed the throne. How dreadful. We've had peace for so long. the sea and journey east to the city of scholars where Kazan resides. So I hope your mind is still keen as a blade, Kazan. I will return soon, I promise. And I won't be alone. Oh. Prince Akari of Ku is branded a traitor and driven from his home. Even Ritsu, once his closest friend, betrays him. In the end, he loses everything at the hands of Mugen, his own brother. With only the embrace of desolate sands to cover him, Akari sets his gaze forward. In silence, he rides east. Akari the Warrior, Chapter 1, End. I wonder if it will force us to choose another, you know, branch now. But you are still free to roam the world for the remainder of the three hours. Across Celestia, there are seven others who await you. Having fellow travelers opens up more possibilities, so why not strike out on a journey to find them? Alright. Well, in the video here, now that we've finished his storyline, and, uh,. Maybe we'll continue on the full game. I'm very intrigued by this. If you like it, if you're interested, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a follow, any of that. I would appreciate it so much. Thanks for watching, guys.